Good morning everyone from Universal Resort and of course our favourite parking row, King Kong 109. We're going to ban it and put it on this thing next to our desk. <laughs> King Kong 109 is just our road this trip. Uh, we're coming in just to mop up a few rides in Universal that we haven't done yet this trip. Uh, then we're also going to be off to do a few little bits around uh, the Universal area. There's, what was the food shop you want to go to? Oh, Whole Foods. Whole Foods. There's a couple of um, new restaurants and new building estates that I want to show you all as well that aren't far from Universal uh, on Sand Lake Road. So we saw a few new developments, uh, new restaurants and stuff that you might want to try. So I want to show you all that. And then uh, later on tonight, we are off to the Orlando City football game. Uh, so that should be good as well. Taking Dad to that. Let's see if we can... Uh, Get a little result there, it'll be good fun showing you a bit of an American soccer game atmosphere. Yeah, we're going to get ourselves in. We might quickly do Velocity Coaster and the train before we go into uh, Universal. Because we can get a little bit of early entry, a little bit. We are not here bang on for early entry, but we can get a little bit. We're going to have a coffee first, though. Coffee till you get a lemon slice or chocolate slice? I had chocolate croissant the other day, didn't I? Want a rice crispy bar? Oh, see, yeah, I might get one, I might, I might, yeah. might be right today. I always feel understated. Yeah. Yeah. I always forget how good the rice crispy dream bars are. I might go for one of them today. So, see, I'm tempted by the little lemon cake oh now, though, because you mentioned it. Lemon cake or crispy bar. See, I had a bite of Laura's crispy bar the other day, I was like, that is nice, I need to get some of them, but I always get drawn in by the lemon cake or the croissant. Tough question that Laura, tough question. I'm gonna be doing a little Q&A on Instagram today as well for specifically Universal. So we'll have a little bit of a Universal Q&A. And uh, we'll get ourselves in first. So it is a Saturday, so it's gonna be a little bit busier today, I think. Yeah. So as everyone pours in for the early entry, we're just gonna take it a little bit slower today and have a coffee first. It's, it's quite fun watching everyone uh, walking in and people watching, everyone rushing. Hagrid's is already by 10 past eight, a 65 minute wait. Gonna be a busy, busy weekend. And now everyone's in a great mood. Everyone's walking in excited, which is nice to see. It's nice sitting and watching with a coffee, everyone's excitement. Good vibes today, nice and sunny as well. It's already boiling now, it's already about 30 already. It is hot. So you've gone for the different street today that you've never had before. I go for it because I always regret it, don't I? Yeah, you I've always, always tried say. those though, they are nice. They don't have these in the UK, do they? Oh my God, I've been heaven if they did, they're amazing. You're nice and you go really well with the caramel latte because they're nice and vanilla-y. Nice that. Yeah. So if you ever are in Florida, definitely try a marshmallow dream bar. Let's have a look. A chunk of marshmallow in. Yeah, definitely try one and see if you like it or not. Do they do full coffees in there? No, I probably not because mine's half empty as well. It's like only full today. I know. What's Honest to God, really? just do not care. This is probably the worst Starbucks <laughs> in America. Well, I'm enjoying my quarter of a Starbucks then. I know. <laughs> well, hasn't quite gone to plan this morning. Uh, got in the line for Velocity Coaster and then there was a big delay, so. We decided to leave the queue because it was going on for a little while and we're going to try and do a little bit of Harry Potter instead, I think. Yeah, not quite to gone to plan, but switch it up. I do enjoy this one if you can get on it. If it's not a massive wait, we'll do Harry Potter and then hopefully scoot across to Universal for a little bit, but the weekends are very, very busy. So I do advise if you can, if you're going to have chill days or do things out of the parks, save them and do them on the weekends and avoid the parks at the weekends if you can. A gorgeous view that is with the uh, castle behind. Right, so let's see if we can get on this. 
and get across to Universal Studios. Ah, this is better. It's only 15 minutes, this one. Look out for the one thing below. <laughs> you ready for this? First thing in the morning on this one. I like it because it's always just a steady queue line. Constantly moves people, this one. Just finished on the ride, loved it, always loved that ride, that's a good ride to do. I will say it is hot and busy and this is the same as 15 minutes wait, more like 25. But I didn't mind, it was a nice wait indoors, cold, because it is hot out here, because I don't know whether you can see that with the staff. I've got the umbrellas on because it's really hot. So we're just going to decide what we're going to do now, where we're going to go. It's quite busy, so we're going to, we might get some ice cream, hop over to Ireland, not Ireland, Universal, and get some ice cream because we do like the ice cream place. So we might do that. So I have just posted a Universal Q&A on Instagram. I'm going to answer some of your questions. So xmiss87. Uh, would you say Universal is still your favourite park at the minute? Um, it's such a hard choice, isn't it? They're all great, aren't they? We love them all for different reasons. Yeah. Islands of Adventure is probably our favourite. Yeah. Uh, followed by Epcot. Yeah, it's uh, it's close call, though. It, it depends what mood, what mood you're in for. If you're in the more mood for roller coasters than here, if you're in more, more of the mood for sort of just having a nice wander around and stuff, more chilled rides, if you're one of the Disney. So, tough question. Yeah. Tough choice. Um, Emma Aaron, 23. Would you ever consider buying express passes? Not really, not now. Uh, we've got our pass to come and go. We have bought them. We, yeah. we are really good for that one day of just getting everything smashed. Yeah. So if you want to smash the ride in one day, get one. If not, you can do them. Yeah, they are a bit pricey. You will get everything done. But if you want to just sort of come and go and get rides done first thing in the morning, is what we prefer to do but we have done a vlog on our express passes worth it for universal that vlog is on the channel and um, so do check that one out what else have we got uh, mark fenton if you could visit one theme park which would you choose out of universal islands of adventure this is universal specific remember this q a uh will it be in universal studios end of september october hopefully around september would be good if we can try and do horror nights but we'll have to see I hope so. That was uh, Stacey Bowden. I hope you're doing well, Stacey. Uh, let's see. Lenny, are you waiting long to get on to the ride? Depends. We haven't because we've been coming first thing in the morning on weekdays. But today, weekend, is crazy. Uh, we waited about half an hour to get on that. It said 15 minutes. It's a bit longer than that. But uh, it depends what time of day and what park. And at the weekends, very busy. Let's see what else we've got. Got a couple more. Lauren, uh, with the 14-day park ticket on your first day, do you just go to the gate and do the fingerprint? Yes, so as long as you've got your ticket or your barcode, um, you just do the fingerprint. I'd recommend just popping to guest relations and getting your physical paper tickets uh, before you then go up to the gates. I find it easier than using the mobile phone. Uh, so I'd probably just come a little bit early, go to guest relations before you get into the parks. They'll give you your proper paper tickets. Uh, your little cards and then you just scan do your fingerprint on the first day remember what finger you use because that will be the same for the rest of your 14 days yeah. so many people get to the front like oh was it my thumb oh was it my finger oh i, I don't, don't know what finger going on yeah. And, yeah so just pick your favorite finger and remember which one you used when you first use your tickets well we got in the queue for uh, the hogwarts express but it was very very busy so we decided to pop back out we're gonna maybe walk around to the front judge how busy Universal is and go from there. We decided to walk instead. It was just a little bit uh, too busy, a bit of, too long of a wait for us for the Hogwarts. So, and we did do it last week as well. Yeah. So we're gonna have a, to walk. have a nice stroll, stretch the legs, yeah. work our way round on foot. Gonna make a quick pit stop and get one of the grape and 
Uh, cherry ices again, I enjoyed the grape last time, didn't I? I enjoyed this one. Get one, that'll take us all the way through. Yeah, we're getting our little uh, discount as well on this. It was nice to stroll across with this. Bit of a refreshment. Thanks, Laura. As nice as last time. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Mm. It's like, but almost like bubble gum. That's the flavour there, bubble gum a lot of the time. Is it? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we are back in Universal. Feels good to be back. We've got the full reveal of the Minion Land uh, signs now. That's all uh, been put out on display. They're taking all the boards away from around it. Really Wait times are hit and missing here now. On our way in, it was only 20 minutes for Mummy. Now it's an hour. It was only 10 minutes for Rocket. Now Rocket's closed and down. It's, uh, we're not sure what to do now, are we? We're gonna have to work it out. We're only gonna do a couple, I think. See what happens, maybe Simpsons or something like that. ET, maybe you love ET, don't you, Laura? It's like Figment for you, isn't it? Figment and ET, your favorite rides. <laughs> How long will it be till Villain Con opens? Not long at all to go. Not long. We've got all the signs on the outside now as well since we came last. El Macho, Brat, Vector. It's looking good to be fair, it's looking really good. The flow is really nice. Now they did reveal all of the pictures and plans for this as well. Uh, all the illustrations came out, it does look really good. Bake My Day looks like it's gonna have some gorgeous cakes in it. I really do like what they've done with it. They've got it right, I think. A lot of people are sad to lose Monsters Cafe, but I think what's going in looks fantastic. And it's going to go to the rides, and like you were saying yesterday, the rides are always grand. Yeah, just... You can't get on that ride, can you? No, it all just flows, it really does. I think it's going to be nice. Extenders, minions, and everyone. Look like adults and kids alike, isn't it? Yeah, Bank of Evil. Looks good, all the details getting painted on now. So we love these annual pass baubles, but they've got 2023 on them. I'd rather have them just plain, $31, but you do get a discount. These are all hand-painted. I don't want it with the, the, with the, with it, the gear yeah. on, yeah, I'd rather just have it plain. Just in a little Christmas shop, just outside of Transformers. Lovely and cool in here. That one's quite nice with the Universal Archers. Quite nice one. Yeah, these are all $31 hand painted. You can get your, I think you can ask as well, put a little order in, I think. And ask for your name on them and stuff. That one's quite uh, good. Just the years on, I wish they wouldn't put the years no, on them. We're not fans of the years. No. This one was really good as well. If you like Volcano Bay, I really liked this one with Volcano Bay on it. And that was a really nice design. Oh, these are more expensive. These are $71. Ah, oh, wow, it does jump up. Yeah, you can even have like, freshly married and things on them. This is where they sit and do them. So we're thinking we're going to go to ET, Laura, your favourite ride. It's lovely and cool in there. Yeah. <laughs> Phone home. <laughs> and then uh, we might do the ball, we might get a little ice cream or something. There's some nice stuff and some stuff that's uh, quite expensive or personalised as well. A quick look in the film vault, you've got the Jaws merch here. Some cool Jaws t-shirts. Going to need a bigger boat. Some Jurassic stuff in here as well, but I think most of the Jurassic stuff is going to be in the dedicated Jurassic Anniversary Tribute store. I like the Velocicoaster one. So this is all film-based things. You've got all the Back to the Future stuff, Jurassic Park. I just wanted to look at the Jaws stuff because some of the stuff I haven't seen, I like that one. Some good uh, Jaws gear in here. They've still got all the bags. The candles we smelt the other day, which are nice. It's just a couple of different t-shirts in here. I've not seen the little bum bags good as well, the shark bum bag. It's quite a different mug as well, this one. Jurassic Park mug. Interesting. Give it a smell, Laura, let's see. Oh, this is Amity right. Island. Oh, yeah. yeah, we smelled that one, that's lovely, that. Yeah. A bit soaring-ish, fresh, isn't it? Quite a nice, fresh smell. You've got the little Amity Island sign as well. 
good stuff in here. It's a good little shop. Nice and quiet as well. I think it's understated, yeah. I think people just walk past it and don't realise. Look at this one, Terminator sign bust. Jeez, look at that. Signed by Arnie himself. $2,300 for that one. We've got different movie posters that you can frame and put on display. I like this shop. This is nice. I quite like that t-shirt as well. Those two are my favourite for the women. Oh, it's got that proper E.T. smell when you walk in. You really can smell it. It's a special smell in here, inside E.T. If you know, you know. People do buy the candles that smell like E.T. I can really smell it today. And someone did mention on the group as well, actually, that they dare. Uh, Increased the scent in the line. Increased the scent in the first room. Apparently they've replaced the system that does the air freshener or does the air scent. From what I've read anyway, apparently. Yeah, it's proper old school classic, this one. If you like E.T., let me know in the comments. Would you get rid of it or would you keep it? Let me know. Well, the smell is really strong on the way in here now, isn't it? Oh, really smell. strong. I quite like this one. I don't think it's as bad as you make out more. I like it. It's just, a know. classic. In its day, it would have been absolutely amazing. Wait, they got it. ride on ET and we're now going to head into Schwoll's Drugs and Pharmacy because this is where they have Laura's favourite banana split. You love banana split in here don't you? I might get an ice cream or I might go round to today cafe for an eclair but Laura's definitely going to get a banana split and then we'll see how we get on. Okay here we go here's the inside then all of course Hollywood themed they do cones oh what are you getting Laura banana split do you get to pick what ice cream it goes with your banana split? Right. Okay. You've also got brownies here as well. That you can get ice cream with. Nice cold drink. Oh, you've got uh, different little cough drops. Cold remedy. I don't think you can actually buy those. I think it's all just ice cream. Yeah. There's all the different ice creams. Dulce de leche, you've got a caramel cone, Belgian chocolate, chocolate chip cookie dough, and then the different toppings you can put on. You've even got gummy bears you can put on them. So there is a soft serve as well, if you want soft serve rather than scooped. Well, it's like party time in here. You've got your banana split. That yeah, looks good, Laura. Caramel and hot fudge, and what ice cream flavours did you pick? I went for Dulce de Leche, chocolate and um, Rocky Boos. Oh, nice. So I'm excited to try them. Very nice, like a party down there. We are going to be checking out the uh, Tribute Store. If it's not today, we will definitely do it another day. Yeah, like party time down there. Hope you're enjoying that ice cream, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> Does look really good. That was $10. Uh, for some reason, the annual pass discount doesn't apply to a banana split, the lady said. Maybe we've got a Maybe. I'm not sure. We tried anyway, but it didn't apply. So it was $10 with tax. But you do get quite a lot, don't you? Three scoops of ice cream, cream, yeah. sauces, banana. There is a lot to it, isn't there? You enjoy, Laura. Enjoy. So I wasn't quite in the ice cream mood. I was fancying something from Today Cafe. I might get the chocolate eclair that I like in here. So this is where we've come to. Catherine Dean are grabbing a bite in here as well, so I'll show you everything that's available in Today Cafe. Well, I really don't know what to go for. We've got an Oreo cookie and cream puff, which wasn't here last time. Hazelnut one looks good. And then they have got my eclair, which I always love. I probably am gonna be drawn in by the eclair, I reckon. You've also got chocolate croissants, 
Ooh, the s'mores croissant looks good. Chocolate muffins, this is all the sweet section. And then just down there, I'll show you all the sandwiches. But what choice would you make? It's a tough one, is it? Look at the chocolate cake there as well. Wow. Key lime tart, it's a tough choice. So this is what I've had before, the big apple cheese, but without the apple. You got other little wraps and sandwiches and stuff as well. Wise guy, got vegan there as well. Vegan sandwich, cannoli, different little salads and uh, yogurt bowls and stuff as well in here. It's all going on. I do like it in here, it's a good little vibe. You've got all these different coffees there as well. You can get caramel lattes and things. Little uh, souvenir mugs as well, which are nice. So if you're a fan of the show, definitely come in and have a little drink in here. It's good. This brings back memories, Laura. We haven't been here for a couple of trips. We love it in here, don't we? we there was one trip where we came about five times, wasn't there? We loved it. And you kept getting the chocolate eclair, yeah? Yeah, I loved the chocolate eclair. I loved the view from here as well. So we've got a nice load of shade. The seating's nice and quiet. You've got aircon inside if you want it cooler. But you've got a nice view of the park. You can see people coming and going. People just arriving as well. So you can see people checking out their maps, working out where to go. And it just gives you nice vibes. I enjoy watching people coming in for the first time. and seeing everything and working out where they're gonna go how to get to things just a nice place to sit i find and it's nice and quiet yeah there's no booming music or anything around here it's nice and chilled you can hear what's going on a bit of universal music in the background but nothing full on is it yeah. made short work of that laura was it worth every bit of ten dollars yeah you like that Amazing. don't you that's hagen dolls ice cream though you say you don't like posh ice cream i don't when chocolate you <laughs> Got it all down your chin and everything. Oh, have I? <laughs> no, it's just a little bit of you. Oh, there you go, you got it. Enjoying yourself there? It's just as good as I remembered, and just in fact, slightly even better. Oh, hey. Is it all around my mouth? Just a little bit, it's yeah. It's a bit messy, but it's like a darker chocolate, thick chocolate on the top. Oh, and and what's inside? Oh like my god, that's a lot of chocolate, isn't it? It's good. It's really good. Spot I'm glad you're enjoying it. They were just in the shop looking at the Simpsons merch now opposite. You've got the nice little mini lounge fly looking thing. You I can have like the dress, that. Laura. Yeah. I'll have the shirt. You can have a jacket in case it rains. Oh, the shape and that's going to make me look like a million You have the Bart Simpson shirt. They are quite nice though. It is good stuff if you're into the Simpsons. Yeah. Got a few Harry Potter bags there as well. Yeah. Right, I think you'd suit that dress, Laura, outside Lord Lad Donut. You could have your little donut purse. I think you'd look good. Let me know in the comments, everyone, shall we get Laura, the Simpsons, dress. So I found even more Jaws merch in the uh, Betty Boop shop now. That's quite cool. Little long sleeve one, different hat. Yeah, well, these are all different. We haven't seen any of these in the other shop. So they've got the shirt. It's like um, Chinese or Korean or yeah. Japanese on there. The hoodie, you got shorts. None of this was in the other shop. So yeah, this is Betty Boop. You've got all your Betty Boop stuff as well, obviously. There's some good merch in here. Go then, let's take a look then in the Jurassic Tribute Store. Change location, the Tribute Store, uh, from where it normally is. It's the 30th anniversary for Jurassic Park. Let's have a little look in here. I've seen some pictures online. It looks fantastic. Some good picture opportunities in here as well, along with some very nicely themed Jurassic merch. Look at this little setup here. As soon as you walk in, that's pretty cool with the old TVs. Pretty cool. Loads of general Jurassic merch and then some specific 30th anniversary stuff as well, like lanyards. I quite like this little keychain one. It's quite cool. You've got number plates. Different t-shirts, that's a nice denim uh, jacket, Laura, stands out. I quite like all the old, seeing the old TVs, crazy, isn't it? Thinking that's what, we noticed it in the ETQ line as well, that the video for ET, it's filmed all square, isn't it? Because it was made square for these TVs. Oh, we've got more to carry on through here. Close set, do not enter. Bit of in-gen, reminds me of Velocicoaster. This is really cool in here, really cool. So this is like the scene when he's in there, when he gets into the kitchen, Laura. That's pretty cool. Really cool.
This is all really cool, isn't it? Really cleverly done. I imagine the people who uh, are behind a lot of this will be uh, part of the team that does a lot of the Horror Nights houses, Horror Nights designs. We've got exclusive little Jurassic Park cookies. I've tried one of those cake jars before, are nice. Trifle cake looks good. Logo, they all looks good, doesn't it? Don't understand that one. That's Jeff Goldblum, and he's got to see this like, I'm always looking for the next ex-missing. Uh, oh, right. forget his name. I think the cookie looks good, and that jar there yeah. looks the best. Let's see what the prices are, so. I'll give you the prices. DNA cookie, $6, which is that one over there. They're quite big though, aren't they? You could share them. So much, I like the, the wacky share, it's good. All kinds of different setups going on. I wonder how long it took to get all this together and come up with the planning of it, the design of the store. I mean, where'd you collect all this stuff from? They must have been on eBay and things, picking up a lot of this. I mean, a lot of it they would have already had, of course, and they've got a lot of connections, but some of this stuff is very collectible stuff, yeah. So you wonder if they've, have they bought all this stuff from the likes of eBay and collectors, or if they borrowed it from collectors to go on display? then they'll be giving it back. You wonder, don't you? If anyone does know in the comments, let us know. Some of this stuff is very rare. Some of the very collectible stuff. Look at that, the opening magazine. Well, that was a really good tribute to I would say it was much bigger than the previous location, maybe. Hard to tell. The previous location near Jimmy Fallon about the same size, maybe that one a little bit bigger. Was good though, I do like the theme and then the work that goes into them is uh, unbelievable. I'm gonna do a few more of your question and answers in a minute. Just having a quick look in the five and dime. So as we head out then, I'm gonna answer some more of your question and answers. Laura's gonna help me answer some as well. So starting off then, Heather Louise asks, what's your favorite food item in Universal? Well, we might have just had them. You love the banana split there. And I do enjoy that chocolate eclair as well. We don't eat much in Universal. My favorite drink would definitely be the Icy. My new favorite as well, that grape Icy that's um, in the Cat in the Hat area. But yeah, food-wise, snack-wise. Yes, you do like that as well. We don't eat as much in Universal as we do with Disney, but um, yeah, I'd probably say that chocolate eclair is very, very good. Uh, Bethan Howgate asks, where do you buy tickets from? Uh, I mentioned this uh, in a previous vlog as well. Uh, Orlando Attraction Tickets or AttractionTickets.com. Two different sites. Check which ones are the cheapest. They're normally about the same. And you buy them in advance. 14 day pass is the cheapest option. Uh, definitely get them before you come over. They normally email you the tickets. You download them or download an email. Go to the kiosk here and pick them up. Dead easy. And uh, make sure you buy them normally a couple of weeks before if you can. Before you come over. Uh, let's see... Mrs. Mummy 88 is Universal as easy as Disney for Laura to navigate snacks and meals with there being celiac or gluten free? Not quite as good, but still very good. I think the problem is um, a lot more people have researched this than they have Universal, so it's easier to find the information for Disney. It's a lot harder to find at the Universal, although it is there, it's harder to know where it is. Yeah, I'd say there is more, a little bit more available in Disney, to be fair with yeah. that. Um, top tips for when the crowd gets high, that's Sam uh, heading over in Easter and heard it's very busy. Oh, yes. very Easter busy does get busy, especially spring break, spring, spring break, spring, spring break. break. Um, yeah. Definitely come in first thing in the morning and leave when the crowds get really high in the afternoon or if you don't want to leave, go and grab a drink, grab some lunch. Yeah. Uh, maybe do the water rides would be good as well. But yeah, it does get very busy at those times. There's not really too many tips you can give other than getting here nice and early get as much done as you can with the short wait times and then be sitting down and chilling and mooching through the shops when all the wait times are massive but when it is busy there's not a huge amount you can do really other than uh, maybe invest in some fast passes but they can be a little bit pricey but that would that would be my main tip is getting here uh, not even for when the park opens the park opened today about 10 to 8 for early entry a little bit early i'd be stood in the queue at seven and uh, be one of the first to get in the park it makes a massive difference 
and then plan your day as well plan what rides you really really want to do and go for them first get yourself in the line get that ride done that you really want to do or the rides done that you'd really like to do uh, let's see uh, epic phil how's it going is there one old ride you could bring back what would it be someone asked on the other vlog this someone asked us uh, in our other q a and i can't think of any universal rides that i bring back other than jaws i think i bring back bring jaws back i think i'd have to bring jaws back but the other ones i didn't really do jaws maybe dueling dragons dueling dragons was a good coaster but then hagrid's replaced it and hagrid's wipes the floor with dueling dragons um let's see jamie kent asks one thing you would change about the park ride theming or anything what would i change about universal Less people. We're talking in terms of rides and theming, Laura. Um, more snacks for me. A little bit more snacks out and about would be nice. I think more, they, they certainly could make a lot more money, in my opinion, by being more creative with the snacks, having more things out and about. Um, that's just my opinion. People find Disney a bit too salesy with that stuff, but I think they could do a lot better. I love the, the designs of the cakes and things are good, but a lot of them aren't. I mean, you get it and you're not blown away. So yeah, maybe increase, maybe change the snacks and stuff. What else would I change? Get rid of a few different rides and change them to something else. I'd definitely be theme Rocket, 100% re-theme Rocket. Even theme it to Minions or whatever suits. Anything that's got to be better than the theme of Rocket at the moment. It's so outdated. It's a great ride. It is good fun, but I just find the pre-videos and the theme and the color scheme just quite dated now. I think they could make it way better than it is. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Question-wise, let's see. I would probably say as well, add another coaster into Universal. Something more coaster-wise. Less of the 3D indoor stuff for Universal in particular. Uh, let's see, did you get the Jurassic Pass holder magnet? We did. We did get that, one of the first stops we made was our little annual pass magnet which you can get for free if you're a pass holder make sure you grab those and get them from the pass holder lounge in islands of adventure uh, in the betty boop area uh, can laura take the bum bag fanny pack on the rides some of them yes some of them no because you've got three lockers if you can't take them on there so. yeah if you can't take it on there's three lockers and uh, the little thin ones which are free they're dead easy for a bum bag most of them, you can take them on. We did Harry Potter, Laura kept it on this morning, so. Yeah, only like the likes of the Lossy Coaster things, like it's the Lossy Coaster. Lossy Coaster Hagrid. Because obviously. Yeah, because they're so fast and the restraints aren't that big. Yeah. They do change it a little bit. Uh, yeah, they give you plenty of warning, plenty of warning, but the, the bum bags are good. I do advise getting one of them. They are pretty good. What's your favorite ride in Universal? Asks Ree Beretta. Uh, it was Luai that asked about the bum bag. How's it going? Favourite ride, Re Beretta. Velocicoaster Hagrid, yeah. I'd probably say Velocicoaster simply because you can actually get on it. Hagrid is just so hard to get on and ride that it sort of swings it for me because Velocicoaster gives me that thrill. Hagrid's gives me a thrill, but not very often because it's so hard to get on. As you can see, it's absolutely melting hot. I am dripping here. I'm dripping as we walk out, Laura. I'm pouring here. I'll do a couple more. Couple more. Uh, let's see. Let's do one more. Uh, Joe N. Webbs, have you any matching costumes to wear? And fun. Um. We've just bought two matching Disney t-shirts, which you haven't seen yet. But in terms of Universal, we haven't. We don't really do too much matching, do we? No, we're not those kind of yeah. We have got also our matching Night Strider merch as well. We've got those matching uh, Mickey ice cream bar tops and stuff. Uh, so do check out the Night Strider merch shop. There is some uh, Disney and Universal themed dish stuff on there that you can check out. That's most of the Q&A answered for now for Universal. Thank you to everyone who participated. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll pop it up on the screen now. Laura as well. Give us both a follow. 
uh, do hit the thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you're new around here all free to enjoy our vlogs we've uh, just hit 61,000 subscribers at the moment at the time of recording thank you all so much so we're heading out now onto the moving walkway and we're going to go and film the uh, the shop that I keep forgetting the name of Whole Foods so if any of you are interested if you've got allergies you're vegan or you're gluten free or celiac or we've never organic stuff like I've never been so Laura knows a bit more about it than me Laura's never been either so we'll go and see what it's like see if it's any good you said it's expensive it's expensive but it is what it is it's, it's, it's specialized shops and stuff like that right. non -GMO, you're organic, anything like that. it could be good if you're looking for that if you have got allergies and things we'll see if there's anything interesting in there yeah. the moving walk I like is approaching Laura please watch your step all right Way. <laughs> Any guesses where we've parked? Sure you all remember by now? KK109, I'm gonna I'm gonna abbreviate it now since it's uh, since it's just ours anyway, our row. Please though, if any of you do park in King Kong 109 and you wanna wire me up when I'm back at home and I'm in work and all the rest of it, post in the Night Strider Florida fan group. If you're not in that and you're on Facebook, make sure you join it really friendly group for, for Florida and theme parks and stuff post a picture up of you in King Kong 109 that will oh, really make me that. jealous yeah. I'll be in work and I'll look through the group and there'll be someone like oh we parked in your row it'll wind me up but in a good way wind me up in a good way you know when you when you see people in Florida you're like you're happy for them and you love seeing it but you're also like I want to get there yeah. I love seeing it, but at the same time, I don't like seeing it because I like wish I was there. But then some days, if I see it in work, I'll be like, oh. But then some days I'll see it in work and I'm like, oh yeah, it gets me excited. Let's, let's just work even harder so I can book my next trip and go again. The so that's a good question, actually. Is approaching. Please, watch your step. Um, that's a good question. If you see one of your friends or someone on Facebook or Instagram, or the likes of us here in Florida and you see the pictures and you're in work you're at home it's raining do you get that gut-wrenching jealous feeling or do you get that excited I want to go and book feeling which one are you some people are either a little bit you know a little bit salty or some people are a little bit like oh yeah they're having a great time I can't wait to try and go back or save up to go back it's not an easy place to come to it is expensive a lot of the time it's trip of a lifetime and things we're extremely lucky that we can come as often as we can we're extremely thankful for that but yeah if you see your friends here or people you know are you jealous or are you like happy for them or let me know your thoughts in the comments there but we're gonna roll out safely out the car park and we'll catch you in this magical supermarket who knows if you've been again let me know Okay, so Whole Foods Market, just on Sand Lake Road, not far from Universal at all. This is in the Phillips Crossing Centre, so you've got a few different uh, stores and stuff in here. A couple of mattress stores and stuff like that, but it's Whole Foods we've come for. Let's see what this is like. So this is Monday to Sunday, 8 until 10. As Laura says, you're not going to find any prime. <laughs> we'll see what we do find. Hey, it looks busy though, plenty of people in here, can't be too expensive. So you've got the fresh section straight away. That seems to be the common thing with the supermarkets, put the fresh stuff straight away. It is um, very well organized, but I do notice everything's, everything as Laura says is all special. It's all this and no this and no that and extra this. See if there's anything particularly interesting fruit wise, but I think it's more gonna be the main products that are gonna be interesting. We're looking forward to seeing the gluten free aisle see all these different drinks here <laughs> no prime or monster in here got all these different organic drinks rebel green power orange juice one ingredient that's all just orange it's not too bad price wise though big orange juice six dollars it's not too bad for your proper 
still do Tropicana, $5 as well. Do you like Tropicana smooth though? It's got to be smooth orange juice for me. Got to be smooth. What's this? Ginger lemon. Whole Foods Market. It's kosher. So it does label each thing as well. So there's your gluten free. It's all going to be clearly labeled. I should think drinks are gluten free, but there you go. Uh, not jumping out at me there. Let's see these cookies. So they're all going to be like back plant based, back to nature. So this is all going to be good for your vegans and stuff like that in here. Yeah. A lot of people do comment and ask about vegan though, so we will uh, of course show you if you are going to be buying some bits over here. Very different to Walmart, yes, very different indeed. It's a wall of all your different nuts and snacks and stuff. Midnight double bits, seven dollars for a bag of nuts though. But that's about right throughout here anyways, nuts are expensive. Yeah. And these are... Okay. Right. Let's carry on around. That's all the fruit and stuff done. It's all the main products I want to see. See if there's any real difference. You think, yeah, well, I think it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Smaller than I thought it was going to be. This is all your fish and stuff in here. Fish fillets. So what's special about these fish fillets then? I mean, you've got gluten-free ones. Oh, look at that. So I get that. But what else, what's special about the cod fillets in here, Laura, in Whole Foods that's different to Walmart then? Yeah, loads of fish. Sustainably sourced. Ah, okay, so it's all to do with sustainability and that. So where it comes is, from. Yeah, it's good for you. Everything that you get here is good for the environment, good for you. You've got a big whole fish, take a big fish home with you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is all your fish section. So yeah, I imagine everything's going to be sustainably sourced, naturally sourced. Most of it will be gluten free or meat free and things like that. It's probably a big, it's a big dairy free section as well, I imagine. Different crisp bites. We'll see if we actually end up buying anything in here. That'll be interesting. So you've got all your GMO and vegan uh, Annie's, you've got gluten free pastas, organic. This is all your mac and cheese and stuff. I'm not going to find any craft mac and cheese in here. Shells, sweet pumpkin. See, Laura knows all this stuff. I'm not up to speed with all this stuff, really. People ask me about it in the comments and that, but I'm not really up to speed with all these different organic stuff. Here's all your different noodles. Some nice looking noodles. Teriyaki, they look good. So these are vegan and verified non-GMO. So that's what most of the products are going to be. So if that's up your street, this is going to be a good shop for you for you to come and grab your stuff from. Just bear in mind, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Oh, nice Thai curry down there. Mind a bit of Thai curry. $9, $9 for a jar though. Wow. Big wellness and beauty section in here. Massive. So this is the equivalent of your little pharmacy section in Walmart. It's gonna have a lot of your um, natural stuff, isn't it? All sort of your para pharmacy stuff. Let's have a little look see. All your different women's health, little gummy vitamins, hair and skin, biotin, gummies. $40. And how is that for biotin? So, what's special about all these soaps then, Laura? What's the deal with these? Plastic packaging. Okay, so that's conditioner. And then I have actually bought but mum did buy me actually the head and shoulders bar of soap, didn't she? I've been using that as a bar rather than bringing a bottle. Yeah, it's quite good to have in your suitcase a little bar. And it has lasted me the whole trip as well, nearly three weeks in total. It's gonna have lasted me. And then we've got different shampoos. So what's special about the shampoos then? Organic Palm minerals. tree free, buy one, give a bar, and 90% naturally. Okay. Vegan cruelty free, everything like that. Certified, natural, personal care. You see anything you fancy though, anything you'd actually buy, really? Not, yeah, but then I've, I've got into this world because we don't have this much stuff like this no. in Tenerife. We've got the Herbal Areas helping to do some a lot of this stuff, but. When I go there, I'm going straight to gluten-free, so it's different. Yeah, we'll have yeah. to find the gluten-free section yet. 
Laura's come particularly to try and find these, these different digestive enzymes. It's There's awesome. all kinds. Yeah. So what do you go for? You've got protein digestion. You We've want a broad got... spectrum digestion. So well, that one looks quite general to me. It's got a picture of fruit on the front though. Yeah, because it's got papyrin extract. So this is super enzymes, breaks down fats, carbs, proteins. So, so you're going for that one? It might be that one. It might be How another much one. How is that? Oh, $33 a jar. I think it'll be this one. That one. Yes. Essential enzymes. Yeah. Okay. And it's that one's, so that one's cheaper. It's $18. We're all right. Yeah, I'm just going to read to make sure <laughs> how we are. So it tells you exactly what it breaks down. Nice. To break down fats, protein, carbohydrates, fibre and break down milk sugar. So I'm going to try that one. Okay. This aisle's got all your soups, crackers, different wraps, broths. Some crispy little snacks there, Laura, yeah. gluten free. Yeah, all your biscuits and stuff like that in this aisle. It's all clearly labelled if you do need to find anything in particular. We're just looking to have a little general mooch, see if anything jumps out at us. Yeah. Gonna keep mooching around. So, just to show you in terms of the chicken, we've got chicken strips, which are no antibiotics ever, made with only white meat chicken. Non GMO, USDA, organic. And how much are they? $10 a box. So, it's not too much more expensive. Well, for me, I'm saying it's reasonably priced. It's like gluten-free foods about this. Oh, your gluten-free food is expensive anyway, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not, it's, that's a, probably three or four dollars a bit more than Walmart. All your different uh, organic yogurts and eggs and stuff in here now. How much is a pack of eggs in here? Four dollars seventy-six for some free-range eggs. It's not bad. Standard price, really. Ooh, maple syrup. Maple syrup here. Organic dark maple syrup, $23 a bottle. Now I always show the ice cream sections in the supermarket. So for any of you organic or vegans or anyone who's uh, into all of this stuff. You've got milk allergies, you've got um, almond milk, yeah. ice cream, you've got vegan ice cream. I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff you've got on offer in here. Some nice looking stuff, peanut butter cup. You've got lacto-free, so again, that's amazing. Yeah, so any allergies at all, this is the place to come for it. We're certainly not judging Laura's gluten-free anyway. We're not judging anyone who's into all of this stuff. I just don't know much about it, that's all. Um, and they're about $5 for a... Um, there's a lot of the Whole Foods 365. So if you look for the 365 labels, that's Whole Foods' own brand. That's going to be slightly cheaper. So you see $4.79 for them. Yeah. And then the flavours of Ben & Jerry's are $5.69. So... It's a little bit cheaper if you look for this 365 stuff. So you like your salted caramel sauce there is fair trade, uh, USDA organic. There you go. I'm just buying up some of these drinks because I do need a drink, Laura. I'm gonna have to find a drink somewhere. And uh, these are sparkling clean cores, lemon lime. That one looks quite nice. Um, and then are these your energy drinks then? Plant so plant-based energy, plant energy tea. So you're not gonna like them. No, because I don't like tea, but is that would be the equivalent of your monster then? No, it's different to your monster because it's, it's iced tea, so it's right. different to monster. But that's how you're going to get, get your energy drinks. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Some of your little treat bars then, some of your different chocolate bars, protein bars. Sorry, everyone, I'm struggling. This camera's struggling with the focus in here because I think there's so much going on, it doesn't know where to focus. There's a couple of these different Aloha bars. Are these any good? I don't know what they are. Mint they chocolate. Are plant-based protein 14 grams of protein so again vegans amazing for vegans that's a lot of protein per serving so oh, okay so there's quite a few different flavors of them as well isn't there yeah this whole aisle has got all different sweets and chocolate and stuff on here's where we get a little bit interesting i'm sure a lot of you would love to jump through the screen now and get yourself some lunch or dinner because you can literally build your own salad box meal box we've got all kinds going on european you've got home foods, pizza, panini, sushi, wok noodles, all kinds. Uh, you've got vegetable and different seafoods. These are all different soups. You can pick your different breads. These are all the different boxes you can pick up. Just make yourself a whole meal, Laura. I never knew we had this section. No, nor did I. So just like with the delis in Walmart and in Target and things, you can come and still get yourself a nice curry to take away take it back to the hotel, take it back to the villa. Get a whole box for the whole family in here. All your different vegetables, the green beans look nice. Got loads going on, they've got lasagna, all the different salads on this side, different cheeses. 
Laura's loving the looks of all this. This will all be like naturally, a lot of this will be naturally gluten free. We've got meatballs, lasagna, chicken legs with mushrooms in that one. Which tells you, so this tells you everything that's in here, yeah? So yeah, so these are the labels, so made without dairy, made without gluten. So you need the one that's for made without gluten. Now we've got, look at all these different cakes here, Laura's in her element, look. If there's gluten free ones, Laura's going to be in trouble. Look at these freshly made cakes. So that's gluten free. Yeah, it's quite dense though, doesn't it? Looks intense, yeah. Well, you might as well get these. You might get yourself a nice key lime or something for your dessert later. That looks good. We've got a tiramisu here. Unfortunately, they're not gluten free. A lot of these are just organic and stuff. Yeah, a lot of them are vegan, aren't they? Yeah, I'm looking. All kinds, vegan. There we've got vanilla cakes, vegan cookies and cream slice, carrot cake, chocolate lace cake. I'm sure some of you will be drooling down the camera now. Look at that, Dulce de Leche, three chocolate mousse cake. Oh, wow. So they've got these little ready-made dinners that you just pop in the microwave, job done, after a long day in the parks. So these are... And that's all... What's in that then? Is that natural? It's, it's meatloaf with mashed potatoes and green beans. It's Simple, meal, yeah. Meal. Nice and easy, loads of veggies in them as well. So here's your vegan and gluten-free pizzas. I've got to say, that one over there looks better than the one I had in the Italian in Disney the other night. Nice, that, proper big slices of pizza then. So they do have gluten-free in there. We've got different assorted sandwiches here. Different turkey sandwiches. Your dad would be in heaven over that. I'd love that, wouldn't he? Yeah. Turkey sandwich on the brown bread. And then I think you can get different sandwiches made, just like in Walmart and Target. You can have your own different little sandwich made with different toppings on. Ooh, look at that, sausage, pepper, smoked sausages. Macaroni cheese looks good. Macaroni cheese, the mash looks nice as well. Oh, it looks really good, to be fair. Really good. Look at all these different uh, bits in here as well. What is all this? Tomato tartlets, it's all different salads, isn't it? Potatoes, honey smoked salmon. We've got different chicken here as well. Look at that, Laura, chicken lime breast. You'd love that at home, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. That'd be an amazing salad that we've Massive. You only need one, <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah. All your different vegan donuts and muffins and pano chocolates and nice stuff. What I am finding though, a lot of it is mostly just vegan though. I'm not seeing much gluten free for you, Laura. There's gluten free stuff as well, but always this gluten free. Not a box. huge amount I though. Have different options that I'd have got in other shops. Yeah, there's no big box of gluten free cookies, is there? It's still not a huge amount for Laura, I would say, in my opinion. Got all these birthday cakes and. Oh, that looks a good key lime pie, doesn't it? It's massive. So does that as well. Little, little individual one as well. What's here? We've got cornbread and vegan cake. Oh, that is cornbread. Vegan cornbread, I should say. Ooh, triple lemon. See, if they were gluten-free, Laura would be all over these, but they're just vegan. They're not gluten-free, unfortunately. Good if you're vegan, though. I'd pick, I think I'd have to go with birthday confetti in them. Yeah. Check out these cakes, then. These are, Some of these look better than in the parks. That chocolate eclair looks to die for. I've already had one this morning though. That looks nice. That one as well. Look at the cookie and cream large cupcake. Amazing. That'd be nice for your birthday. So, maybe some of these are vegan. They do say on them if they're vegan or not. So, you would like some so of these. So, some of them aren't. Yeah. So, like your, what about your chocolate eclair there? No, because it contains. Oh, so that is not your normal whole food it says contains bio engineered food ingredients that the cream inside of it I think. Ah, okay so some of this is like oh my god and i'll look at the key lime pie tart there got an individual one there as well they look so good what would you go for everyone let me know in the comments what cake are you choosing it's finally spotted something you might get i mean it's ten dollars for a box but if you like them laura what are they they're like little mini cupcakes yeah with... for the top eight allergen free so that's really good because okay. I'll, I'll see they go on a lot about um, corn being an allergen as well, a big allergen. So you get rice and corn instead of wheat in a lot of your food. So. Oh, oh see, there's a bit now. more. 
There's a bit more gluten-free going on. There's a white chocolate one there as well. Vegan brownie. So a lot of them are both. Oh, see, you found the section now, Laura. All these cakes. Look at these. They're massive. What's that one? Cheesecake slice. Looks good. New York cheesecake as well. Key lime cheesecake is the only other place I've seen to do a key lime cheesecake other than Publix. Huge cheese section which has got obviously your, your organic, it's got your vegan cheese as well. Uh, organic cheese options are made with milk from cows, not RBST. I think that's hormones or antibiotics. Right, so you've got loads of different cheeses, it does smell quite cheesy round here. And that's not because I'm walking with Laura. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've covered most of the shop now, Laura. Most of it, a couple of bits for you. You can see everyone's ordering on Prime. You can order it and have it delivered. So you could have it delivered to your villa or everything you want. When you're stood in those queue lines, bores, get your little order in. Have it delivered to the house. All your different veggie burgers here. Loads, isn't there? Loads of different brands as well. It's not all just the same brand. Lots of different brands. So I would say it is just like a Walmart or a Target. But everything in here is obviously organic non-gmo or gluten-free or vegan so if you have got those allergies i would definitely recommend a visit here even if you just get some of your main meals from here or some of your really specific stuff that might be different for you to try that you've never had before yeah i mean you can get that quite often though see i would come here and get something really different like i've never had if you were vegan or whatever i've never had a greek lasagna or, you know, something very different. Yeah. Something you can't get in the supermarkets in the UK is what I'd be grabbing. I'd be trying to get something like a spinach and cheese ravioli. Something that you can't get at home. You can get mac and cheese anywhere, can't you? Yeah. Really. Me personally, I would be trying to get something that's different or unique or yeah. something you can't get at home. going to show you all of the sushi here i'm not a sushi fan if you do like it let me know i just i can't get on with sushi i can't get on with fish but never mind it being cold as well but if you're into sushi i imagine this all looks amazing because it does look nice it's presented very nicely finished with all the nice little toppings and sauces quite a lot going on in there so if you do buy any of the fresh food in the little boxes, you can also bring it into here and sit and eat it in here as well. You've got a little eating area, toilets, different quotes on the wall. But yeah, if you do fancy getting anything, you want to eat it while it's hot. It's a nice seat and air, air conditioned area in here. Well, there you go. Let me know your thoughts on that one. I think for allergies, it's great. If you don't particularly need any anything special or particular then you're gonna pay obviously a lot more in there it was a pleasant place to go around but it's pricey uh, but if you have got any specific allergies or there's odd things you might treat yourself to or you want to be really conscious about the environment whilst you're shopping yeah i mean we're not judging anyone but if you want to go in there just bear in mind it is a little bit more expensive i'd only do try and only get like the, the main bits that you need in there and then if you can get other things or you're not worried about certain other products get them from your Walmart or your Target, it's gonna be quite a bit cheaper. Uh, we're gonna leave from here now. We're gonna head further down Sand Lake Road because there's some new developments, developments that I mentioned that I'd like to show you uh, with different restaurants on, different shops that are sort of up and coming. I've never ever seen them on anyone else's vlogs before. We love our Florida vlogs. We watch a lot of channels. I have not seen them on other vlogs before. So I just wanted to point them out because some of them might be of interest to you if you're staying in this area. Uh, we're probably going to try and try one uh, for dinner one night or come back. But yeah, there's just some, it just popped up out of nowhere and I've never seen it. And I thought, I want to show that. I want to see it myself as well. See the different food menus because there's some restaurants we've never even heard of before. I know. We were looking at that yesterday. It was amazing seeing these different restaurants. Yeah, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to pull over and show you some of those uh, on our way back. Well, from one supermarket to the next, we kept mentioning Walmart. I think it was stuck in my head. And we're just driving down Sand Lake Road and there is this massive one here. If you're staying near Universal, this could be one of the biggest for you to visit uh, here on Sand Lake Road. It's got a McDonald's inside as well. 
The main reason I just wanted to fly in and pop in, if you can ever do that in Walmart, uh, is just to see if there's any more of those prime sachets. Dad absolutely loves them, so if I can get some, I want to pick some up for him. You can even take them back to the UK because they're just sachets. So yeah, this could be a, a good one for you to come to if you're staying in Universal or this area. Uh, anywhere near International Drive. It's very busy. It looks absolutely ginormous. But yeah, I'm only in here for some specific things, so I won't be giving you a full tour today. But I have done a full tour of Walmart on our day one vlog, if you want to check that one out if you haven't seen it. Yeah, as soon as you come in, you've got all your discounted uh, Disney merch and stuff, all your matching shirts and that, all a lot cheaper than in the parks. Suitcases as well, $75. Yeah, I'm in. I know, I should just drop you off, shouldn't I? I'd love to look around, but we're running low on a bit of time today. We have got a football game to go to later. We're going to be going to Chili's with the family as well. I just want to see if they had this prime. Where's all the food and stuff? It's over there to the left, is it, Laura? So I'm not used to the layout of this store. I've been looking around for ages now. I'm not used to this layout. I'm used to the layout that's uh, on the one on uh, 192. So I'm a bit all over the place here trying to find where the sachets and stuff are. I'm not having an easy time of it. Okay, so we did ask a helpful lady. Unfortunately, there was no sachets in the aisle that she sent us to, which was aisle 24, A24, they're all numbered. Um, there was none left, unfortunately. The only prime that we found is here in the middle, which is your cans. I might get a couple of the lemon lime. And do you like this one as well? Yeah, get me a couple of those. And a couple of the lime. And then it, any we should get for dad. You might like the lime as well, mightn't he? Yeah. You get yourself a nice pink one. We'll get Dad a lime. There we go. I'll help you now. Just picked up for now. Nice cold uh, monsters. This Ultra Switch Strawberry Dreams is meant to be quite sought after this one. I've seen it everywhere though. Zero sugar. It's quite nice. Laura's gone for a full one. Yeah. Got enough pr uh, cans of Prime, Laura. Here. Really What's the best shop in Orlando? Walmart get a bit freaked out when they see themselves in the till camera Hello. do they have that at home the cameras i don't think they do do they so here we are this is the little bits of new development if you see to the right they're still building plenty on the right hand side but i'm going to cross just over to the left and show you some of these you have got wendy's and duncan which we all know about but there's a couple that I've personally never seen. One of those is just here, which is First Watch, which is good for breakfast, I believe. We've also got McAllister's Deli. This is called The Crossing at O-Town West, is uh, the name of this little area. Quite up and coming, these are all brand new builds. I've never seen any of these before. So we'll have a little moochie over here. And then just to the right of Laura, is that even more different things to show you, more different restaurants, different shops back there as well. So I just thought I'd pull in and show you both of these and we'll have a little look for ourselves because there could be a future place to try for dinner. Some of you may have tried these uh, elsewhere because a lot of them are chains and you might be able to tell us which are good, which are worth trying. Of course, Duncan and Wendy's are, are always everywhere, but this first watch breakfast, brunch and lunch looks pretty good and also McAllister's. Okay, so has anyone tried, is it WOB, W-O-B, or is it W-B, Bar and Kitchen? They have Burger Monday, Craft Beers, Happy Hour, W-O-B Resort, Rewards, Wednesdays, every Wednesday. Reward members can earn double dollars. Has anyone tried this? This really interests, I thought it looked really, really nice. I liked the decor and everything. This is open from Sunday to Thursday, 11 till 11. And on Friday and Saturday, they stay open till 12 as well. Yeah, it looks nice in here. Look at this. Please wait to be seated. That looks really good, the decor. Here's your all day Thursday happy hour. Just gonna have a quick look at the menu because we may come back and eat in here one day. But I love the theming. World of beer. Look at that little lounge area there with the Guinness. Where you can sit and have a little drink the football on the game on even the tables have got little plug sockets in if you need to charge i think they've done it it's done really really nicely just want to check the menu first just ask the kind server for a menu just to show you what is on offer here 
got different wings, different burgers. Oh, mac and cheese bites. They do offer gluten free as well. Tacos, truffle burger. Let's flip it over. What else have we got? Handheld. So, ooh, chipotle chicken sandwich. I'd like that, Laura. Yes. Fork and knife. So, this is like steak, fried shrimp, different flatbreads, pepperoni flatbread, $12.50. Different uh, salads, corn on the cob as well, the wob cob. So it is WOB, so it's wob, I think it's called. Ooh, Nutella, churro donuts, and a salted caramel skillet. So I'd eat in here, they look really nice. I'd so love the because... I'd love the burger, yeah. followed by the, one of those desserts, sound amazing. We've got drinks here as well. So you have got your happy hour, which is uh, Monday to Friday, three till seven. Thursday 10 p.m. till close is happy hour. Different draft beers, different spirits. And then we've got a big cocktail menu as well here. All your different signature cocktails. Uh, no prices on these though, I notice on the cocktails, I think. Oh, $11. There you go, it's next to the calories, $11. On average, 10, 11, 12, some of them. For your different cocktails, different mules there. Ooh, tropic like it's hot. Rum Haven Coconut Rum, Peach Puree, Pineapple and Fresh Lime with Ginger Beer. You'd love that, Laura. That's $11. I think I'd like to give this a try one night. We'll maybe see if... Uh, we'll take a picture of the menu as well and show the family, see if they would be interested. Because I love the decor. I think the theming and everything in here is really nice, really clean cut, but interesting. I love the world little thing at the back there. So it might be nice to come back. We'll take a picture of the menu. I'm going to show you some of the others in this area. But if you've tried this restaurant before, do please let us know. It doesn't have to be in this location, but if you've tried it elsewhere in Florida, let us know. Yeah. But this is not far from International Drive. Look how lovely and calm and quiet it is in here as well. It's lovely. This one we've never ever seen or tried before is called Burger Fi. This again looks nice. Nice seating area outside. Obviously, the key's in the name, so it's going to be all burgers. You've got award-winning burgers, Wagyu dogs, frozen custard, cage-free chicken. Is this open, Laura? Let's have a little look. Here's the hours. Sunday to Friday. It is open. Ooh, it's nice in here as well. This one looks a bit more fast food rather than sort of dining. Oh, it smells nice. Burgers smell amazing. We don't tear open a bag of frozen fries. There you go. So proper... Proper hand-cut fries there in-house. All your different burgers up here. So you've got your Wagyu, you've got veggie, Angus beef, limited time, beef for a day out. Ooh, nice. So there is gluten-free buns in here. The lovely gentleman here has just been chatting to me. We've just been chatting about YouTube channels and he was telling us that there's obviously there's no hormones or antibiotics in the meat. All of, everything is all fresh, hand-fried chips. It all goes straight into the fryer. Uh, they've not got it all sort of pre-done. You can order here on the screen. You've got different, um, I'm still here. We've got different burgers on the menu, so different sandwiches. For, there you go, you can change what beef you have. Oh, you can even add a fried egg on there. Dad would like that, Ooh, fried egg on the burger. So they've got a loyalty scheme in here as well. This is burger fi it's called. So there you go, add the bun. You can just have everything and just add the gluten-free bun on. And you do hot dogs as well. Nice. So, Let's go. I saw there were Wagyu hot dogs as well, weren't they? Yes, or Wagyu dogs. Normal hot dogs and Wagyu hot dogs. Different really, sauces. Really. Oh, nice. Meals. So they do a kids' hot dog meal. Got kids' meals in here kids as well. So this, to me, if I had a choice over a, a certain other fast food chain beginning with M, or one that begins with B, BK, I'd pick something like this. This is lovely, lovely and clean, nice and calm and quiet, nice decor. And the burgers look amazing. That one at the bottom looks absolutely stunning. So now that's two restaurants, Laura, that we need to come back and try. Sure. If anyone's tried a burger fry or been in here and tried it, again, let us know. Look at the desserts as well. Look at them and over there. They look really good. Smells amazing. They smell like proper burgers. Oh, oh red velvet. So oh, 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 look at that. Nice. And then if you do order, you just grab one of your little um, table numbers, like in some of the other chains, and just sit down and they'll bring it over. But I do like how fresh it is. They don't just uh, whip the chips out of the bag. It's all proper, no hidden agendas, no hidden ingredients, just straight up nice burgers. They do a premium 
Wagyu blend burger as well. They look really good. And you can join the little loyalty scheme. It's nice, that. This is another one we definitely need to try, Laura. I don't know what we're going to do. I know we always find it at the end, don't we? Yeah. Always. Well, I must say, the gentleman in there was so, so friendly and chatty and I definitely want to go back, even just to give him a bit of support. Yeah. Even if it's just a chain, I don't know whether he was the manager or the owner, but a lovely guy. Just the chatting clean, away, clean, explaining. Looks yeah. really nice. It said everything's fresh. Like you said, non-GMO or hormones. Look nice. The fries are fresh. And it makes a difference having fresh fries over. Yeah, something out of the bag. Especially, that's all you get in the parks, guys, isn't yeah. it? That's all you get, and like you say, five guys, things yeah, like that. Amazing. So the next one is McAllister's Deli. This is another one, again, I've never seen or tried. This looks like it does sort of different sandwiches and stuff. Um, it's a very, very quiet area. So don't be put off if you think it's quiet or they mustn't be good. This is simply because I think this is brand new. I don't know how long this has been open, but this is an up and coming little section of restaurants. You can see over the road is still under construction. So. Don't be put off by it being quiet. I'd be quite thankful of it being quiet because you're going to get piping hot food and a bit of quietness while you have a, a meal and while you eat for now until all this construction finishes and then this will be this will be booming, I imagine. Let's quickly look at McAllister's Deli and see what's going on in here. This is open Sunday to Thursday, half 10 till 9. Then Friday and Saturday, half 10 until 10. A lot of them do add on a little hour or so on Friday and Saturday for those busy nights. Let's have a quick look at what's going on in here. So this is nice as well. This is all sandwiches. The key's in the name again. Relax with flesh flavors of spring. It smells lovely in here as well. So we've got all different salads, sandwiches, club sandwiches. Hi, yeah, thank you. Different spuds, so you can have different jacket potatoes. Ooh, soups, desserts, beverages. Ooh, nice. This looks really good. See if they've got gluten-free. It'll be uh, the, one of the first questions. So just checking the menu. They've got loads on here. They've got some good deals as well. You can have two items for $10.59. So you can have a soup and a sandwich. Good deal. We're not thinking there's much gluten-free in here, which is a shame. But Dad would love it in here. I'd enjoy it. It's got nice uh, brookies and cookies there as well for dessert. Oh, definitely. It's a really, it's a really good option. Just not for gluten-free, but... Anyone who's not gluten free, you can come and enjoy one of these sandwiches, the soups, the. It's quite a healthy option as well, isn't it? Yeah, because For the parks nice. and stuff, yeah. yeah Next up then, after McAllister's, is First Watch. Now, I did mention this to my sister yesterday. I said, I've seen a lovely new breakfast place. I think she went and tried it with Jude and Scott today. And she did WhatsApp me while I was in the park and say that she did enjoy it. She said it was nice. She said she wasn't sure if it was my style, because a lot of it was sort of healthy breakfast bowls and things, but we'll have a little look. I just love the buildings. I think it just looks so smart and fresh. All of these restaurants look so smart and fresh and trendy and clean. So breakfast, brunch and lunch daily from seven until 2.30. I might have just closed then. What time is it? Half till. Okay, so it's just closing now. See if we can have a quick look inside. Okay, so that one was closed. Something to bear in mind then. So that is strictly just breakfast. So I imagine the breakfast and lunch is banging in there because... That's all they serve. That's all they serve, yeah. They're closed for the rest of the day. So they must have to do well in those mornings. I'll find out more information from Sarah and Scott. But if you've tried First Watch, again, they are a chain. Sarah went and tried it, I think, in Champions Gate area. She did. So if you have tried First Watch, let me know. What did you think? Is there something that me and Laura would like? And uh, did you enjoy the breakfast in there? It looks a little bit smarter, a little bit more, I don't know how to say it really, trendy. I wouldn't say it's gonna be a lot more expensive than a Perkins and a Denny's and an IHOP because I find those have gone really expensive these days. IHOP last time we went, it worked out like a $50 breakfast. I don't think they're that cheap anymore. So for maybe the same or not even much more, you can have a really nice, new, smart, different style breakfast place that doesn't just do the greasy fry up. You know, your wife might want a nice yogurt and fruit bowl while you have a fry up or try some different breakfasts. That's what I like to see a bit more. Um, that's sort of more my style really than a, IHOP's good, but it is that proper old school diner. Yeah, Denny's as well. Yeah. They're great, Love them. but I find they've become a lot 
quite expensive for what they are in my opinion so it would be nice to try some different breakfast places i'm going to jump in the car now because that's this little section done so this is just on sand lake road remember just on uh, the little junction that goes across to palm parkway uh, just further down that way behind us uh, just behind uh, wob or wob is uh, if you go across this bridge that then leads to cheesecake factory and the premium outlets at Vineland. That's another new section of things happening down there. By that Cheesecake Factory is more new shops and developments happening. Across the road, we've got a Wawa, we've got a White Castle. So I'm gonna quickly show you across the way, cause there's also PF Chang's. You've got Italian Ice, Portillo's, which is hot dogs. So I'll cross over and show you that side. Then I'll quickly show you the bits at Vineland near Cheesecake Factory. And uh, if you come and try any of them, let us know. We will be coming back to one of these for sure in our future vlogs, so keep an eye out for those. But I, I, I like it. I think the parking's easy. They're clean looking. The they're new, fresh. So they're extra clean and extra nice. Yeah, I think they're nice and smart and modern, which is what everyone's looking for these days, isn't it? Yeah. And there you can see in the distance um, a lot of international drive as well. So not far from there, a lot of you might be staying in this area. Right, let's jump in the car. Let's see what's across the road. So we've got Glass House O-Town West on the right. That looks like a new development of condos. I don't know whether they'll be residential or rental. But we're going to have a quick look in the little, uh, I call it like a retail park. It's the equivalent to like a retail park in the UK here. And show you some of the other things here. We've got a nail spa, Portillo's, and uh, PF Chang's to go is a popular one. That could be uh, nice for you, Laura. Yeah, because you're gluten free in it and it's really and nice. And then even more to the right, look oh at all this. God. We've got Taco Bell. Laura, we'll spin the camera around. You've got Taco Bell over here. Little grease. Flippers Pizzeria. So yeah, it is just like a little mini retail park. So you've got Little Greek, you've got a barber shop, you've got Flippers Pizzeria. We've got a nail spa over the way. Maple Street Biscuit Company, that sounds quite nice. Do you reckon that'll be nice for a breakfast, Laura? Do you know what? Yeah, because it'll be, um, it sounds like it could be Canadian breakfast. Let's have a quick look at this one. Let's have a quick little look at uh, that one. And also we've got, uh, is it about burritos next door, is it? Burritos. Yeah. I've never ever seen or been here. Let me know if you have. I've never seen this. Let's have a quick look. I know a lot of these are chains, so a lot of you will have tried them, but I'm not sure at this location. This is so really, really is brand new, this to me. Maple Street. Let's see what's on the menu here. They've got a menu straight out the front. Let's have a little look. So we've got briskets, four for $12. Ooh, mimosas, you can have a mimosa, Laura. The Sunrise Mimosa, orange juice, cranberry and Prosecco. And a berry one as well with, uh, with jam in. There's not enough coffee. Ooh, signature maple vanilla latte. We need to come and try more places, us. We really do, no, don't we? Definitely, yeah. So you've got eggs and biscuits, chicken biscuits, uh, different shareables. So this is definitely Canadian breakfast, isn't it, I think? Oh my God, thick cup potato chips, house made in small batches, drizzled with maple syrup and salt. Ooh, the kettle chips. Oh, Sounds nice. So you've got dining, delivery, takeout, catering, and online. This is also this is all comfort food from Modern West. Five and dime fried chicken strips, pecan wood smoked bacon, cheddar, and a fried egg. Some of it does sound good. I wouldn't get the egg, but some of it does sound the sticky maple. Sounds good as well. Mm. Extreme B and G. Maple sausage meatball, two biscuits, two eggs covered in sauce. See again, this would be another one that Dad would uh, come and try if you're looking for a job. They are hiring. Service animals welcome as well. And this is open from Monday to Sunday, seven till two. Simple hours, very simple. I struggle with all the ones that do different hours and different days and things. Looks good, that. Let's have a quick look inside. See, I think with these balloons, these have opened very, very recently. So this is Babu Babacoos Burritos, this one. Again, they love their happy hour every day on four until six. You can have draft beers for only three bucks, entrees for only $8, frozen wings on a Wednesday. They do wing Wednesday, so 10, 10 
dozen wings. I said frozen, I don't know why. Ten dozen wings for ten dollars. Get my words mixed up now, it's been a long morning. And the uh, barbacoa is back. Whatever the barbacoa is, it looks good though. That's a burrito, looks amazing. Let's have a quick look in here. Crispy chicken, bacon, sriracha. Ooh, I hope this is helpful for people. Like There's some things here I would definitely like to try. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, this is coolly themed as well. Hiya. This is really cool theming. Oh, it smells good in here, Laura. It smells really nice in here. It smells a bit like chilies, doesn't it? It smells like Well, I'm shocked because I asked the ladies in there who were very nice and friendly. I uh, just said, we're just showing around, seeing what's going on. And I said, when did this open? Because she said, oh, I'm new here. I'll just check the, the allergies and things. And I said, when did this open? She said, this has been here for a couple of years. I don't remember ever seeing this. This has apparently been here for a couple of years. I don't remember seeing any of this. I must have just been completely missing out. Uh, there wasn't much gluten-free in there. There was some nice looking stuff uh, normally though, but for gluten-free, probably not your best place, but the tacos and that looked amazing. It was a bit like a, it was done out like a subway, so you just picked all your stuff. So if you wanted a taco, you picked your taco and then all the different meats, all the different sauces, salads, did look nice in there. So we're gonna carry on now towards Vineland uh, outlets near the Cheesecake Factory and just show you some of the other stuff that's up there. But yeah, definitely an area to come and explore, especially if you've got a car. You can definitely mooch about, park at different places, different zones, and have a little uh, little scurry about some different places for dinner and lunch that would probably cost less than eating in the park, so you get a lot more and a lot more variation. So I've just pulled into Vineland Point. This is, again, another new development. You can see new buildings being built. We've got a Chick-fil-A over there. You've got a Shake Shack as well, which is a drive through And then just over there is a Target. There's already five units available on here to rent so they will assume over the uh, next few months be filled and we'll see some other new places popping up here in Vineland points we've got more condos being built over there the level of expansion in Orlando and Kissimmee is massive at the moment the amount being built is uh, unbelievable so we're going to be getting more and more more and more visitors more and more people coming over and that again requires more and more restaurants places to eat so look, you did try a Shake Shack the other day on um, International Drive. You weren't exactly blown away. I wasn't exactly blown away. I will say, however, it smelled clean and fresh and the food looked amazing. It just was, that the just wasn't milkshake wasn't great for me. I don't offer no. gluten free, so I would definitely still try it though. Definitely. It's well, that looks again, it's amazing. a nice new modern new build. You can see it's got the nice lights over the drive through. And I just like to see this modernization coming into these areas. So we're going to go across the way here to the, if you cross over the junction, there's even more over there in terms of shops. So we're going to cross, jump over there that way towards Cheesecake Factory. But I just wanted to pull in here, I turned left because I want to pull in and just show you this little Vineland point, which is again springing up out of absolutely nowhere. Okay, so this is again part of Vineland Point. So there is almost four corners, uh, if you uh, understand that one, that name. Uh, there is almost four corners to it because you've got one over there, you've got one here, then across the street is the one we've just been to with Target, then there's another section over there. So it is sort of divided into four points. Uh, you can see there's a variety of different shops, including this one here, Sephora. I've just told Laura she cannot go in there. Uh, you've got Cheesecake Factory over there as well, which we've eaten in this trip. We've got Aldi, loads of different stores, five below as well. I'm not going to be able to go in all of these because uh, I will be here all day and it's currently 37 degrees. Uh, but I'll show you roughly what is in here. Uh, we're going to go around here because there's more restaurants over there. There's a pizza place I'd like to show you. We might have a quick look in five below and then the rest I'm just going to drive along and show you what is available here. You've got Marshalls and uh, a Disney gift store as well. But yeah, this seems to have sprung out of nowhere to me. I've never seen it. Might have been here for a few years. I'm sure some of you have already visited it. But to me, this is all completely new. But uh, you can come and do your shopping here, your Target supermarket. You can eat, you can get... It's all kinds. You don't have to go uh, as far down International Drive as maybe you think if you're staying around here. I think we'll be definitely be coming back for a bite to eat. Let's have a quick look in Five Below because people always do ask me about Five Below and then uh, we'll just drive around the rest and show you what they've got here. Just inside, five and below. So everything in here should be in theory, $5 or less. 
See if there's anything interesting. Definitely get all your stuff for the pool. All your pool floaties and body boards, boogie boards. Some of it is more than $5. But the, the theory of the shop is that it's uh, quite uh, lower priced. It's quite a good uh, substitute for a Jaws Merch shirt. It's quite nice, that. Great white. And that is, where's the price? It doesn't have one. Probably about $5. Yeah. This is all $5 for all these different t-shirts. If you see any that you like, these are all just $5. Wow, there's a lot in here. It's only going to be a quick look. What well, you could spend all day in here. Great for kids stuff and sweets as well. Let's see what sweets they've got. Sugar rush section. Some decent uh, deals on the sweets. Some of it I've not seen in the supermarket. Might get a bag of uh, Skittles if they're cheaper in here. $2.50 for the gummies. Uh, let's see what else they've got. Got Musketeers there. With all your boxes of Mikey Mikes and See, these trolleys, I've not seen any of these sour egg bites. They look interesting. Strawberry puffs. Yeah, I've not seen any of these in the supermarkets. So they've got different sweets in here as well that you might not have elsewhere. Even more. Big range of Haribo. Ah, these are what I've been looking for. I love these. I've not seen these anywhere this trip. These mini frogs. I don't like the big ones. They've seen the big ones, but I like the minis. The mini rainbow ones. So I'll be getting some of them. Okay, worth a good visit into uh, Five and Below, wasn't it? All kinds of different funky sweets as well. All these little fizzy mega shocks. Look at them. They look crazy. Inside gummy fruity fries. They look ooh, they look very interesting. Different uh, jelly beans. Look at those Krispy Kreme donut ones. Bean boozled. They're quite funny. Fiery challenge. Good game to play with your uh, family. A bit of toxic waste. I found, Laura. You take them off me. I found... So I got them for Mum and Catherine because they are special pineapple golden bears. Yeah. Then I found them that I love that I've not seen yet yeah. this trip. And then just some cheap Skittles. And then I was going to get them for my yeah. um, staff member and work asked for sour sweets if anyone remembers that from our day one vlog. I wish we could flick back to that. I would say this is a good shop. If you want to treat the kids, you want to get them some souvenirs, some treats, some sweets, some toys. Good place to come because it's proper gear. But it's obviously going to be, it's almost, I would say, the American equivalent of a home bargain yeah. sort of vibe. Got that, like, hey, so it, it's yeah. genuine stuff. It's not fake, but it's good price. So it's probably a good place to come and bring the kids if they've got a bit of pocket money, you know, give them $10 and, or $15, $20. And they can pick whatever they like. They can pick some sweets. They can pick some toys. They can pick uh, some books, some coloring books, some equipment for the pool. I think it'd be a good place to bring them. You've got all those little Nerf. Uh, things, Nerf toys, different types of balls. So yeah, when Jude's a little bit older, you'd probably bring Jude along and say, right, Jude, you've got $20 and uh, 20 minutes or so to pick yourself some toys and spend your pocket money. There's uh, all kinds in here, particularly for the kiddos. A big section of car equipment, different wires and cables if you've forgotten yours, phone screen protectors, lighting. Yeah, I'd definitely say it's like a B&M home bargains, all your home equipment here. Different uh, candles, wild at heart. Palms and hibiscus, let's give this a smell. Mm, quite nice. It's the hibiscus I'm not too keen on, but it's actually quite nice, that. $5.55, it's a good price. Now this looks ridiculous, but genuinely for me, I would use this or I need something like this to protect my phone when I'm vlogging, especially on live streams. If I have the phone in the sun, the iPhone, it gets really hot and overheats, yeah. especially in Tenerife and Florida. So it looks mental, I mean, but it would be, yeah. it'd be good for me to keep the, uh, the phone cool, but I can't go around Tenerife and no, all on Florida can't. with that. Well, but it's, it's a, a cool idea, idea though. I'm surprised Apple haven't developed something to sell you oh, for, to keep your, yeah. keep your phone cool. This mean, you've got everything in here. I'd definitely say bring the kids down, for sure. Bring the kids, let them pick the popcorn, or all kinds. It's like a kid's dream in here. Okay, so you've got a Ross Dress for Less, which is all your discount clothing. We've got a Disney gift store. That's like one that you'd see on the highway, so that is not an official Disney store, but it's got Disney merch. We've got Marshalls, which I think is clothing again, isn't it? And makeup and stuff like that, yeah. Discounted again. We've got Burlington. Which I've never heard of before. It's a home coats, clothing, ladies, men's and kids store. 
anyone been in there let me know and on the end okay so that's a, just a one big one you can see more construction across the highway there that's what i'm talking about we've got all these condos all this development going on summit contracting group building away there and that is lake willis is it going to be called or altis grand looks like then here we've got a couple of different restaurants so you've got chicken salad chick whatever that is chicken salad chick some form of chicken salad place i presume i we... think it's chicken salad chic oh chic okay not chick chic. Well, i just thought chick because it was yeah chicken salad but there's a woman with a bag chicken. on the front so i'm guessing it means uh, chic. chic uh fancy nancy yeah it's a nice fancy place okay so i'll turn right here and show you some of the others we've got a sushi yeah. place there revolving sushi bar so I think that's one where you just pick off the sushi you off the big pick off whatever belt. you want, you have it in little tubs and then you eat and pay for it at the end, okay. which is very popular. So if you like your sushi, there's one for yeah. you. All this parking's completely free. And what have we got now? We've got some cool looking drink thing outside of this one. Don't know the name of it. Rita's Italian Ice, so that's... Um, that's like gelato, is it? Yeah, frozen custard. Cotton candy. Looks like you have a morning that morning. <laughs> I wish. Wee. <laughs> We've got a crumble cookies. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Crumble cookies. That could be a good alternative to waiting three hours for a Gideon's. Yeah. Come here and get served in three seconds. That could be very, very nice. And then we've got a mod pizza. That's the pizza place I mentioned earlier. Yeah. M O D or mod pizza. Looks decent. Panda Express Chinese Kitchen. It's a nice looking Panda Express. Then we've got a nail spa. Get your nails done. Walk-ins are welcome. It's what we like to hear. Ooh. Do acrylics, gels, facials, Oh my God, waxing, there's loads manicures. of chairs in there. Oh my God, it's like 20 chairs. Nice what we one. like to see. Buffet City Soap. So that's like a soap. Soap place, place like your, soap your basin, yeah. Chipotle chicken, chipotle. You like your yeah. chipotle? Then we're back at the beginning. And then we're back at Sephora here on the right. There is also, you'll see just in the distance to your left of the screen, is an Aldi. Okay. So you can go across and do your Target, you can do your Aldi, you can do your Five Below. You get some good deals on your shopping here. And without crazy queues, crazy parking or anything, it's quite quiet. I bet you that new. Sephora would be lovely to shop around. Disney gets a bit busy. Yeah, very. And it's uh, they ram it full, don't they, in Sephora? Yeah. Uh, they, they really do stock the aisles and have them all quite close and tight together. And then just across the street, you'll see Cheesecake Factory. We think we did that on our first or second day, Cheesecake. Yeah, one of our first few days we did that. So you could tag this on to your visit to Vineland Outlets, which you can see just on the left-hand side. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. Far, we're going to be driving past there that in a moment. There's your Vineland right there. So you could tie it all in together, come and do your Target, come and do your Five Below, get your discount on your uh, shopping and stuff in there. Yeah. I like it, I like what's what's up and coming because they're building, as I said, so many condos and hotels and villas. We're gonna need more of these, more places to eat, places to shop. And they're building them right. I love the modern build restaurants. They all look lovely and clean, nice to like eat you in, wanna yeah. go to eat there, don't yeah. you? Because it's getting quite expensive to eat out here now. Or well, certainly more than it used to be, especially with the exchange rate. You want to have some nice new modern Yeah, you want it clean, you want it nice, you want it new modern, yeah, yeah exactly. Sit in nice seats and charge your phone and things like that. You've got to keep moving on. You've got a holiday in there. Such so, a yeah, plenty. If you've been to anywhere around here, I'd love to know in the comments. Help us all out. Any tips or pointers, let me know. And if you've been around here, let me know. Apparently been built for two years. I know the Cheesecake Factory's been there for about two years now. A couple of years, yeah. Time goes so, so quick though, so quick. It does for us. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. So we're gonna head back to the villa now and he's a little refresh and then we're gonna have a bite to eat somewhere. I think chilies, but Dad's now said he's eaten, so don't know what Dad's up to. And then we're gonna be off to the Orlando City game. Laura's gonna be chilling. I don't know what the girls are doing yet. The girls are gonna be doing something. They will have been organizing be, today. Don't know whether you're gonna going go on. to Disney Springs or chill in the villa yeah. or you'll be doing something with uh, Jude and Scott are also going to be uh, staying with the girls so you'll all be off to do something it's me dad and Dean going to the game yeah boys night out 
in terms of the football, I'll give you all the info when we get there. But uh, it's in downtown Orlando, in the main city area. The stadium's nice. I've been to a game before. And the tickets were a bargain. $19 each. Absolute bargain. When you compare it to Everton and the Premier League, which are £50 a ticket. Some cases, you know, if you're one of the London teams, tickets even more expensive, the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea. When you compare it to those prices, $20 for an MLS game. Take that, something to do. You don't get much for twenty dollars in uh, Orlando much anymore, no, do you? So you and the boys have got a nice night out for it. Yeah, so especially for ninety minutes of entertainment. Yeah, you enjoy. Twenty bucks, nothing. So what number of chilies is this for us, Laura? Is this our fourth chilies of the trip? Absolutely loving it in here at the moment. We've come with the whole family for a little bite to eat before me, Dad, and Dean are off to the game. We've come to the one on the one nine two again, which is uh, tried and trusted. The temperature today has got to be the hottest oh day so far. It was 100 said. degrees driving down here. 100 degrees. 100 degrees, absolutely insane. crazy. Although in here, it's going to be like minus two. Yeah, so Laura's brought a jumper because they're always freezing in the restaurants, aren't yeah. they? I've got my uh, my nice new, uh, let me just grab the battery pack. Got my nice new uh, Hugo Boss sort of dolphin shirt on that you saw me buy. Smart. Yeah, just thought I'd wear something a bit different for the game. You saw me buy this earlier on in the trip. Head on in, get a nice table, it's nice and quiet because we're in quite early. So I did forget to record the food at Chili's. However, you now join us on the I-4 heading to downtown Orlando to catch the Orlando City game. So yeah, you now join us uh, down in downtown Orlando. We're just coming up to the stadium. We've got about 10 minutes of traffic to get through. We need to find somewhere to park. It's seven o'clock, game kicks off at half seven. So it's gonna be a bit of a rush. And it's lashing down, but thankfully, Laura's got the rain max in the back, yeah. which will, will hopefully save the day if this, this rain stays what on. What we need. We are very busy because not only have we got the game on, this is downtown Orlando on a Saturday night. People are going for their meals, people are going out, out, people are going to all different places. I think there's other different little events on, so yeah, very busy down here. But hopefully, we'll get parked, get ourselves sorted, and then. Um, if it's still raining, we'll catch you inside the ground. If not, we will, uh, of course, vlog getting into the stadium, show you how it all works. It's all pretty easy. It looks like we're probably going to end up paying more for parking than we will for the actual, than we have done for the actual tickets. Yeah. Parking seems to be about 30 odd dollars. So it's, uh, it's going to be one of those. We'll see what we can get, see what we can do. It looks like the Gecko Garage preferred uh, parking it's is all full. Uh, full, it looks like. The gecko garage is full. So we'll see how we get on. There's not much we can do at this time, at this hour. We'll just do what we can, park where we can, and get in as quick as we can. If we miss the first little bit of the game, it is what it is. It will uh, be what it will be. Good news is, the sun's uh, poking out. The sun's out. coming out. I think the um, storm's back that way a bit, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I don't think it's come. I think it's come through this way. Yeah, hope so. So you can see there is different parking coming up, which is what we'll have to go for. The main parking is all full, but there's a, there's parking on the right for 30, further up it says 20, and on the left says 40. I don't know what the difference with it all is, but at this point, we'll just sort of have to bite the bullet with one of them. As long as we can park, it'll be fine. But yeah, there's different ranges of parking prices. I think last time we came, before we were years ago, we parked quite a bit further down and probably only paid about 20 or 15, but it's um it's gonna be one of those because we're a bit pushed for time it's gonna be pretty much park as best as we can as close as we can so we're all parked just in one of these little parkings we paid 30 dollars. i didn't want to risk going any further just to save 10 when you're in a bit of a rush i just wanted to get parked and then get going I suppose we didn't pay 40 which some of them were asking yeah. but yeah i've actually paid more to park than i did for the ticket it's crazy isn't it it is crazy you know. Parking limited. Crazy, but yeah, I suppose it is uh, limited, and you know they make their money. Fair enough. You know, you've got to make a bit of money on their uh, match days. So it's uh, fair enough. Everyone's got to make their little bit. You can see them all waving down the road. So there's plenty of parking. So even turning up with just 20 minutes before kickoff, plenty of parking, quite close to the ground. So no big panic. You see the ground just there. So we'll make our way this way. I think get ourselves into the ground you can hear that storm listen to that wow storms rolling in 
So yeah, quite a, quite a few of them are 20, quite a few of them are 30. It's, uh, it's If you want to hunt around, you probably could get a little bit cheaper. Just turn up a little bit earlier than we have for the game. Well, it's quite a different vibe down here. Very different in downtown Orlando, especially on a Saturday night. Very different feel to Kissimmee. So if you're wondering about Orlando City, they're currently uh, eighth in the league. I think they're on about a four game uh, unbeaten run. So we'll see how they get on tonight. It's the first time they've played Colorado Rapids for uh, quite a few years. Last time they played them was in 2019. So it'll be uh, interesting to see how they get on, I think. The only downside is a lot of the, a lot of the ground is quite open air. It's not covered, so if a storm does come over, I think a few people are in for a bit of a soaking. There's a nice little ground. I'm looking forward to showing you all. If any of you've been to Orlando City game before, let me know in the comments. I know a lot of you do. A lot of you recommended it to me in the Facebook group. Yeah, there's a nice, nice little ground. It's friendly atmosphere. Very friendly. There's no crazy ultras or no crazy fans. You know, there's never normally any trouble from what I see. Uh, you know, Disney World sponsor the stadium and things like that. So I think we have to it's uh, nothing crazy. And as Laura, uh, you may notice the camera's a little bit shakier. I've not brought the filming stick because they're very, very strict. Last time we came, very strict getting in. So uh, I've just brought my phone. I've not brought the, fil the, the filming selfie stick because I don't want to get, get it taken yeah, off me or anything. Yeah, because you have a bag, it's got to be see-through. Uh, okay, oh, you're gonna it's going to be under a certain size and right. the last time my bum bag we had a bit of a debacle over because it fit into a certain size right. so I had to scrunch everything in my bum bag to get it in Yeah, so it, just to save any bits, I've just brought the phone or just film with the phone like this Door gate A, B, C or E so you've got quite a few different gate options we're going to go in here, uh, gates B and C Plenty of still uh, people going in which is good I was worried we were going to be too late but we're absolutely fine. Oh, I got these tickets on Ticketmaster. As I said, I paid $19 for these. And uh, we just hold it on this card reader. I've got it in my Apple wallet. Hold near the reader and that's it. Got a couple of tickets on there. Should just work straight from the phone. So it is quite a modern stadium. I do like these little seats here where you can like sit on a high, a high chair and uh, watch with the little drink and stuff. You've got people selling beers and drinks and stuff here. Makes it nice and quick and easy. Or you can go up to one of the stands. You've got ice creams, uh, different bites to eat as well. Yeah, it's a little modern stadium, this one. Dead easy to get around. So, so many different food options here as well. You've got a whole chicken place here. I've seen people walking around with Pizza Hut. You've got the guys going around selling drinks. Uh, they really do it well once you're inside. So many places to grab drinks, grab snacks, pay nice and quickly. Not like Goodison Park for Everton, trust me. It's all different sandwiches, chicken tenders. So it's good, isn't it? For a football ground, we've got loads of options. I'm gonna grab a bottle of Gatorade and then we'll let head up to our seats. For two Gatorades is $13, not too bad. Sort of theme park prices, not bad. So we are section 103 is where we need to head up to. So we're gonna head up to this way. Hopefully we don't get wet up there. You can see they even sell pizza hot in here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is it's storming a little bit outside. So a lot of people haven't taken their seats yet because it is quite wet out there. It's not built for, for rainy days. <laughs> built for sunshine games, this ground. I'm looking forward to this, something a little bit different. And always do check the schedule and always recheck the schedule as well because games do change, games get rescheduled. So you might look and think there's no game for your holiday and then you can look again and there is. That's what happened with us. I looked and there was nothing and then I looked again and there is this game. So always do keep checking. Okay, thankfully the rain has stopped. So section 103, row ZZ. Oh, we might not be under the cover as well, which will be all right. I think we're right up towards the top. Here we go then, here's the view from our seat. I don't think it's going to matter too much because it does look like a quiet game. But yeah, thankfully we're under the shelter, so if it rains, we're absolutely fine. Whereas down there, these people are going to get a bit wet. But yeah, good views all around. No stanchions, modern stadium, no restricted views. You've got all the boxes and lounges up here. You've got another cool little box lounge down there. 
And yeah, you've got the, the ruckus end there. They normally sort of let off flares and things. Last time we came, we sat up round here and we were looking down on these nutters here. Nutters, when I say nutters, they're just like, you know, wave their flags and things. As I said, nothing crazy in this ground. It's uh, very, very family friendly. Kids everywhere, so I wouldn't worry about anything like that. Yeah, you've got nice views of Orlando from up here as well, with that up that high. The TV camera there. Wait for the game. So it's come to half seven and we were wondering why it was so quiet. It turns out there's been a weather delay with the lightning in the area, so they're only just warming up now. So it, it now kicks off at 20 past eight. So it was delayed. That's why it's so quiet. I was gonna say it was more full than this last time. Yeah, so we've got, a, we've got about 40 minutes to kick off now. They do have to delay it when it's lightning. There was quite a lot of lightning in the area. So just while we wait for the game to kick off, I'm just going to show you what else they've got on offer. This is the smokehouse uh, and chicken. So we got a pulled pork sandwich, $15. Pulled chicken sandwich, $15. I mean, obviously they're stadium prices, but to have that variation is nice. French fries, $5. Uh, Heineken draft beer, $13.50. Obviously, you're going to pay the price. But don't try and bring anything in because they are very strict. Very strict indeed. But, I mean, at least what you're getting is a good quality product by the looks of them. I mean, they look really, really nice. Just look at these nachos here. They look really good quality. And really nice food. You've got the Sunset Bar there where you can buy a couple of drinks and beers. Very nice. Friendly staff in here as well. And then the Stadium Classics. I'm on a hunt for a chocolate bar, to be honest. I want something sweet after my uh, salty chilies. Just trying to find a little sweet snack somewhere. Okay, we've got M&M's here. Might get some M&M's. <laughs> got a little uh, stadium shop here where you can buy t-shirts and stuff. All different, uh, all the different sets. You've got a couple of different little bits of merch at the back as well. Quite like that one, nice and colourful. And uh, there's the traditional one as well. You've got all the little magnets, key rings, lanyards as well. They've even got an Italian icy place there. We can get different icy drinks. They've got everything you can think of. Pizza Hut there. It's absolutely crazy in here. The amount of things they've got. There's another little merch stand as well. Everything you can think of. Pretty cool, they do put the, st uh, the starting 11 on all the shirts. You can see the full starting lineup for this evening's game. It's a pretty cool display that, I like that. It's quite a cool way of seeing who's starting rather than having it on screens. Quite a nice way of doing it and you do get a nice picture with it as well. I do like that, it's good. I'm back from my adventure. I got some M&Ms and I got Laura some salty popcorn. They're going to add a few M&Ms into the butter popcorn. It's a uh, butter flavour, isn't it? Uh, two of those were $10. Not too bad. It's stadium prices, isn't it? But uh, we didn't come prepared, so a few of them in there. Nice. There's a little bit of rain around, but we're okay at the moment. I walked all the way around here. The amount of different things they've got is unbelievable. So many different food stands, ice cream, pizza hall, so you name it. Oh, At this time, we would like to more the tradition. Join us in a moment of true celebration. Please get on your feet and cheer as loud as you can as we celebrate the lives, the love, and the legacy of those 49 
at half time. Pretty uneventful apart from a red card for uh, Colorado. It was all Orlando, but no cut net. It's a bit like Everton. Yeah, there's going to be more action this end now. Everything was all up that end. Just no cut edge, but I do think we'll win. I think now, now they've lost a man. We do have a bit of an advantage. It's been a bit scrappy, a bit. Plenty of fouls, hasn't there? There's been a lot of fouls going on and stuff. Yeah, good little atmosphere, and uh, they did announce on the Tannoys um, at one point, can all fans avoid using bad language in the stadium? They really do keep it friendly. They gave away Walt Disney tickets before the game, and uh, it's, it's very friendly atmosphere. Very. They did have a big uh, tribute at the start there as well for uh, some of the victims of a, a big uh, tragedy shooting uh, in, in Orlando quite a few years ago, and then the fireworks and stuff. Well, finally a bit of action. It is 1-0 Orlando. It was a deflected goal, but I do love the celebrations. And I like the way you see the all come together and sort of like a little selfie. That was good. Good, good celebration there, good fun. But I love the way they light up the stadium, those lights. It does create a good little atmosphere. Even though the stadium's not full. Do you like the little lights going on? Plenty of advertisement for the uh, right line and service which is starting going to all the way down to South Florida. Starting this summer that is we to get the train from Orlando all the way down to uh, Miami etc. Let's pick it up a bit now. Should be really, you know, should be winning this more than 1-0 oh, now. So we've got a two-man advantage here. They really do celebrate the red card, so it's quite funny. The poor guy's trudging off, and the announcer really goes for it. It's uh, so different to uh, Premier League. But, uh, yeah, they, make, they celebrate the, the red cards like it's a goal. It's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, 
So a little win here would move Orlando City up to seventh, up a little bit above DC United. See if they can do it. Just exited the game, nice and swift, easy exit. We're just trying to retrace our steps as to where we parked because we didn't really think to uh, note down where we parked. So we're just going to retrace our steps. Yeah, city's all lit up nice. Really cool to see downtown Orlando lit up like this. You've got these bikes as well where you can uh, jump on the back and they will ride you into town or ride you into wherever you want to go, which is cool. We're just finding the car. It's a bit like something from a movie, this. It's... Uh, Pretty unique parking but we were just saying it's nice that we've given the little man some money rather than you know the big corporations at least you know the locals around this area make a bit of money on match day which is nice there's the car laura we're fine we're fine and we're good at retracing steps back into the economy the big man's money doesn't exactly yeah i mean it's great for orlando city but uh it's nice to support the little local people you know doing this these are basically like back gardens really but you know, they make a few quid on match day. No harm done, is it? No. So just to coming out, do expect plenty of traffic. They do close some of the roads. It's been pretty bumper to bumper for 10 minutes or so. But once you get on the I-4 at this hour, should be nice and, well, not won't be clear as a bell, but it should be a nice smooth run. But getting out of the suburbs here and out of the city is gonna be, you know, expect, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, bumper to bumper, road diversions and things. If you wanted to leave the stadium early, you'd beat some of it, but it depends where you've parked, how many are coming out of your parking. It's all well organized. There is police around as well where the road closures are, and but just expect a little bit of a bumper to bumper delay and things. As I mentioned, if you want tickets, I just search for Orlando City tickets. Even on their website, when you click tickets, it takes you through to Ticketmaster. They were dead cheap, dead easy to buy. Buy them through Ticketmaster, download them to your Apple wallet or the equivalent on your Samsung or Android. Um, and that was it, tapped in, job done. And then they've got plenty, as you can see, you could have your dinner in there. There was all kinds you could have. You're gonna pay a bit, bit more, you're gonna pay the price, but if you wanted to just eat in there and have a full experience with all that food there, you could do and drinks and you had a bit of popcorn was nice. Enjoy the popcorn. You do. Yeah. I do like a bit of American popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. I don't normally have popcorn, but when I'm here, I do. It's nice adding the M and M's into it and stuff. You yeah. can come prepared and bring all your snacks, but we came a bit last minute. But uh, no, well worth it. I'd recommend that if you've got a game on. I would definitely recommend it. As I said, keep checking though because that wasn't scheduled to be on. I don't know what happened or when I looked, there was definitely no game. So I don't know. Either I made a mistake or I'm sure this game was rescheduled because when I looked, there was no games there. What happened with the delay, I don't know. I think it was to do with the lightning in the area, but then during the game, you could see a little bit of lightning in the distance, so I'm not sure why it went from half seven to 20 past eight. Bit of a random kickoff time. I think that was what the delay was, unless there was a delay for something else, but it's just not too, it's half past 10. I reckon we'll be home by 11-ish. Do you reckon? Yeah, once we get on the I-4, we'll be fine. Especially if we do the I-4 Express yeah. is even quicker. Be good, yeah. It's just where the, these road closures are and they direct the traffic does slow things down a little bit trying to get out. Well, thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you did enjoy it. Do please let me know your highlights down in the comments. And if you've ever been to an Orlando City game, let me know as well. It was fantastic. If you get a chance to go, definitely do it. Hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up. 
and uh, we'll see you more soon for more Florida content.